Hi, it's Jill and we are going to do a little packing video here. How to pack for a seven day trip to Southeast Montana in the summertime. So thanks for watching. A lot of you that uh, follow me regularly know that my two sons and I went to uh, Southeast Montana in June. Uh, this past June, we went into and out of Billings, Montana and did um, four stops along the Montana Dinosaur Trail. So I want to uh, give you a little tutorial on how I packed, what I used, what I took, and uh, what I think that um, I could have done differently or better. Now, I like to do uh, fairly minimal packing. Um, it just, uh, especially when traveling with kids, it makes the trip uh, go a little bit more smoothly. Um, I think it does when you're not uh, carting around a whole bunch of stuff with you. Uh, we decided to do carry-on only for a couple of reasons. Uh, one was that we had a connecting flight. Uh, you can't get directly from San Antonio to Billings and we had to go through Salt Lake City. So that was gonna give Delta an opportunity to lose my bag which I didn't want to deal with when I got there. And also, unless you're flying uh, Southwest Airlines, my favorite, uh, that does not fly to Billings um, at this time, you pay for your checked bag. So I didn't want to lose my bags and I didn't want to pay to check three bags. So uh, we all went carry on only. This is the suitcase that uh, I use most often. It is an American Tourister uh, spinner suitcase that is hard sided and flexible. We have uh, two that are this size, and then we also have this uh, Ricardo Elite, uh, which is also a uh, soft-sided or hard-sided uh, spinner with flexibility. This one is a little bit larger, has a little bit more room, but this one is my favorite, and this is what I used. Now, um, I also took uh, my backpack with me. Um, I have a Samsonite backpack. I thought it was up here somewhere. Yep, yeah, it's right here. Oh, I have my backpack with me. Um, this uh, houses my computer equipment, usually my baseball hat, an extra sweater, toiletries, um, and stuff like that. I also carry a uh, Canon camera backpack with me that has my cameras and my extra lenses. And how I got around uh, having three bags uh, plus a purse on this flight is I had one of my kids carry the Canon backpack and the two of them shared a backpack. So we had three uh, bags like this total and three backpacks. And then I do carry a crossbody purse when I travel and um, I stick that inside my backpack if I think um, they're gonna give me a hard time at the gate. So here we go. Uh, the first thing, uh, shoes. When you're, when you're trying to travel light, shoes take up the most room in your, in your luggage. So I took three pairs of shoes total and uh, by the way, what you're wearing uh, counts for uh, you know what you what you have available to you on the trip. So for this particular trip, I was wearing jeans, a t-shirt, and a cardigan sweater, and I wore these uh, these uh, Keen um, hiking sandals, which uh, th these are my favorite thing. They uh, can go in the water. They are sturdy enough for light hikes, and you can uh, wear them with shorts and dresses. They don't look uh, too bad. Not super fashionable, but um, you know I did wear these. Um, not pictured are the um, are the flip flops I packed. Um, my um, 15 year old uh, pair of um, <sighs> reef uh, black flip flops uh, died on me later this summer. Got some prayers, please. But I, I also took those and I still have not replaced them. But uh, you should really always I'll, always wear your heaviest shoes when you're uh, when you're when you're packing or traveling because you will have more room in your suitcase and it won't be as heavy to carry. I did not want to wear my uh, hiking shoes on, on the plane, so I did pack these. Um, I stuffed them full of like socks, belts, uh, scarves, things like that, and uh, packed them kind of like so. Uh, I always put my deodorant uh, in my shoe, and this is, uh, this is how I get around uh, a lot of the liquid uh, rule for carry-on, uh, is I use a natural crystal uh, deodorant, and yes, it really works. So I uh, stuffed that in the shoe there and packed my... Uh, Pack my boots like so, so that gives me a little room, um, you know, to play with around them. And then I have this other bag of toiletries that um, I keep pretty minimal. One other thing I wanted to show y'all, and this is another way to get around the carry-on liquid rule. This is a lotion bar. It looks like a bar of soap, but it's not. It's actually lotion. So you're 
eliminating some of your liquid. I keep it really basic and minimal uh, with the toiletries. Uh, I will usually, you know, I'm brand loyal on, on certain things, but I will usually just plan to, um, you know, use whatever, you know, shampoo and conditioner and stuff like that uh, that they have uh, in the room. And I, um, I have a little bit of room in this bag. Um, it doesn't want to seal right now. Uh, these are like reusable, like silicone kitchen bags. And I like them. You can probably hear my kids yelling in the background. But uh, there we go. I think we got it. And uh, that and a hairbrush. And um, I always carry a small flashlight with me. There's a little inside um, pocket in my suitcase. I usually put a couple of band-aids. My flashlight uh, can hold a couple of other little things. And then my cosmetic bag uh, goes inside my carry-on so I don't have to deal with it um, in the get in there and I usually keep my my hat and stuff in here I always travel with some kind of ball, um, ball cap so uh, seven days in uh, southeast Montana uh, my general rule of thumb this thing does not want to stay closed uh, is pack close for five days um, no matter where you're going or how long you're going for pack five uh, days worth of clothes and figure out uh, where and how you're going to do uh, your laundry. And now, you know, you just have to sort of scope out where you're going to be staying and, um, you know, know when, how long your route you're going to be uh, doing laundry. I We were on the move a lot. We stayed in, I think, five uh, different places. So I sort of scoped out where we were going to be in advance and I planned uh, my laundry day. So this is what I took with me. My kids, uh, this thing does not want to stay closed. My kids took a similar complement of clothes. Uh, I did pack a couple of extra outfits for them uh, because, uh, because I could get away with it because their clothes are smaller than mine and uh, they are more prone to uh, spills and messiness than, than I am. I've um, moved past the phase of my life where I use my shirt as a napkin. So I did pack them uh, a couple little extra things, but similar things. So I've got uh, two pairs of shorts. Um, I think I probably could have gotten, um, gotten away with that uh, one pair, um, just because it was cold. So always scope out the weather, uh, where you're going to be. Um, Montana summer is, uh, about on par with, uh, Texas, uh, winter and there are different elevations in the state. We, we started off, um, you know, at the bottom of a mountain in the, um, high sixties and it was 42 degrees, um, up top. So we were not ready for that. Um, and I'll, I'll talk about how prepared, um, I, I thought it was and how successful, uh, my packing was, um, in, in my eyes in just a second. So this is the only packing cube I'm wearing. I am generally a fan of packing cubes. Um, this one has, um, uh, my underwear, a bathing suit, bathing suit cover up and um, pajamas in it. So I stick that one in there. Um, I have one pair of shorts already in there. I'm gonna go through uh, what, I, what I'm packing and then I'm gonna roll it all up. I have, I think I took uh, three short sleeve t-shirts. Uh, I always take this one if I'm traveling um, over a Wednesday because obviously on Wednesdays we wear pink. And I have, uh, let's see couple other t-shirts in here that I've already rolled up. There's one, there's two, so two other t-shirts. I have this uh, chambray uh, type work shirt. I have this, it's a layering piece right here um, that I uh, could wear under clothes. Um, in my underclothes thing or on my person, I have a, a nude tank and a black tank. So I always like, like that. I always have, you know, those basic, uh, layering pieces in, they help keep you warm, um, absorb sweat and whatnot. And then I have two, uh, long sleeve type t-shirts, um, you know, easy to layer. And then, um, there's my other pair of shorts. And then I have, uh, you know, I have the jeans that I, that I wore on the plane and I have two pair of these. Athleta cargo leggings. They've got lots and lots of zippers. They're of a sturdy fabric. Uh, they can be worn as pants. I wear them hiking and traveling a lot. And you can put your uh, your money, your passport, your chopstick, uh, your car keys in these little zippery pockets, and you don't have to worry about uh, you know somebody taking your bag or you know 
forget, forgetting it when you're in an airport somewhere. So these are handy travel pants. I have them in black and gray. I think they make them in navy and I'll probably buy those at some point. But I liked having, you know, the two pants and the two shorts so that I could always have something clean. And then um, I have uh, one cardigan in my bag. And um, then I have this, um, this is also from Athleta. It's a very just simple, uh, basic black dress that I would probably, um, you know, wear with this uh, knotted over it. And then I have another, I swear this isn't a giant uh, commercial for Athleta, but this is also Athleta. It's got a hole in it, sad trombone. Uh, but it's a, it's a thicker sweater uh, with, a, with a hoodie. Uh, with a hood on it. So I have a light cardigan in my uh, backpack and then I have this that I actually wore on the plane because I always uh, get cold on, on planes and then um, a hairbrush. And I had a really small travel size one um, and I, I think I might have left it somewhere. So we're going to get ready to roll. Start with the bigger pieces first, the bigger and heavier things. packing successful. Um, it was mostly successful and uh, it would have been more so successful if I would have done a better job at researching uh, typical summer weather in every place that I visited. Uh, I wish I would have had um, a, a better jacket um, or, or a puffer vest or something that provided me a little bit more um, extra extra warmth and maybe even like a beanie or something or, or gloves. We had one afternoon where I was wearing um, both of my long sleeve shirts, both of my sweaters, a t-shirt, a tank top, uh, leggings, um, and, my, and my ball cap. And uh, we, we made it work, but um, an extra outer layer would not have been uh, hard to Hard to, hard to pack and uh, could have definitely fit them in here. I do still have room in this bag so that gives me a, an option to you know bring back a souvenir um, if I want to or if um, you know I just you know collect stuff in my travels. I am not a big shopper uh, when I travel because it all has to fit in here so I'm really uh, discriminating about what I choose to bring back with me but I do have a little bit of room in here. Um, I don't consider my packing 100% of a success and unless I have actually used everything that I packed and I didn't use the uh, blue chambray shirt or the black dress. The black dress I knew was going to be iffy. I wanted to have it just in case um, I needed something um, a little bit nicer and um, it, it ended up being a very casual trip, also colder than I thought. And uh, the chambray shirt I didn't wear because it was wrinkled and I just, I didn't feel like uh, ironing it but uh, other than that um, I wore everything um, I did uh, laundry on my fourth or fifth day so I had a mostly clean uh, suitcase um, a suitcase full of mostly clean clothes that um, that I brought home with me so um, seven days in southeast Montana this is what I took and um, and it was good if you want to read more about our trip to uh, Montana and beyond, go to ripjeansandbifocals.com and look for the Montana section under the travel tab on the homepage and you will see everything there. Thanks for watching.